everyone, I'm Scott Spinola, Editor-in-Chief at 21CT.com. And today we have another security roundtable for you, where we talk to security professionals about issues in network security. The SANS Institute recently released survey results indicating that 77% of organizations track, log and track data from their security devices, but only 10% of them feel they're using that data effectively. Many vendors will tell you that big data is the answer to this problem, but we all know there's no silver bullet to network security. If you, have, if you can't make sense of the data you have now, what's more data going to do other than confuse things? To help us make sense of all this, today we have with us 21CT security analyst James Lawler. Welcome, James. Thank you. So, talk to us about big data. We've heard the buzz about it, the hype. Um, some, ver some observers call it the buzzword of the year. What's your perspective? Well, I, I will say that data is not getting any smaller. Um, so calling it big or bigger or biggest or whatever you want to call it, it's definitely there. Um, there's lots of data. Uh, out of the box, most machines log um, by default directly to a system or even log by sending traffic out the wire, um, whether it's to, you know, find other hosts or to find, you know, um, different servers. And all this creates a lot of noise or additional data to have to parse through or analyze or understand. Um, and as analysts, initially we all think, yes, I want all the data. If I have all the data at my fingertips, how could the bad guys ever hide? Um, and the truth is, once you have all this data in one place, and you start trying to find um, and analyze and, and, and try to understand what's really going on, you, you, you jump in these rabbit holes. Uh, that, that you quickly find out you didn't really find out anything more about your data than you did before, nor do you have any extra indicators of compromise um, within that data. And so by essentially what you've done, you've taken all that data, localized it or centralized it in some sort of fashion, and you actually became even more ineffective because you're going through all these different iterations of, of, hey, let me look through this. Oh, hey, wow, this is an interesting logger. And whereas this, this is all good training uh, through log parsing or, or database querying or, or those kind of things, and those are good skill sets to have, especially um, additional to actual security analysis, they, they're not necessarily what's going to help you to stop or, or prevent or, or find these bad guys that are actually on our networks today. So more information doesn't necessarily mean, more data doesn't necessarily mean more information. It just means it's just more stuff you got to work through. Honestly, to sum it all up, it's not about all the data. It's okay. about the right data. Gotcha. So the right data. We need the right data, not more data. Okay, so now we have the right data. Now we have to analyze it. We have to do something with it. That sounds like data analytics, something many people don't understand very well. Why don't you walk us through what a data analytics are? So yeah, data analytics, and I, you know, I, I still will admit I don't understand as much as I wish I could. And so for me to, to help myself out understand it, I had to kind of simplify everything. That's how I have to understand sure. things. And so how I understand an analytic is strictly a question, a question you ask of your data. And so, so once you have your data all centralized or localized or in some sort of location, you, what you do is you just ask questions of that data and you're doing data analytics by asking questions like some of the questions could be like let me see the top 10 connections you know uh, port uh, source port connections going outbound on your network or well, set up source outbound um, top 10 connections outbound on your network right. or let's let's see the top 10 uh, country flags okay. that are outbound or country codes that are going out uh, that my internal hosts are actually browsing to uh, those are some, some simple analytics that you can run once you have your data centralized or localized using NetFlow or, or uh, even Bro-type data. So the analytics just give you a structured way to ask questions of your data that you're, that you're already thinking about, you just don't have a way to ask it yet. Truly. Okay. Truly. It's a structured way to query your data. And that's all it is. It's just a question of your data. What is my data doing or what does it look like this way or, or, right. or that? Awesome. So you mentioned a few examples. Can you give us another example that maybe goes a little bit deeper into so those are all interesting, you know, hey, what is my network doing today? Or what is it doing in the last week? You know, what, what, what type of activity or what type of communication outbound or inbound are my hosts conducting? Those are interesting, but it doesn't, it's not, doesn't really show you, oh, hey, this is bad. Mm -hmm. um, one, one thing that gets you closer to something malicious or something that is a misconfiguration or maybe even a, a policy violation is, like, let's say if you have internal hosts using external DNS. Okay. And so uh, an advanced query would be like, let me take a list of my core DNS servers and find out any internal hosts that aren't making DNS queries to these DNS servers. Or more importantly, what kind of port uh, 53 UDP outbound 
other than my core DNS servers, are there, are, is, is flowing through my network boundary. Right. And so that's all interesting stuff and a little bit advanced queries uh, going beyond just a top in or top amount of, of things or interesting traffic. Awesome. So with the analytics on this example, uh, for instance, it, you, can, you can look at your data and find hosts that are connected to external DNS, but you don't necessarily know if they're misconfigured or potentially malicious, but when you ask the right question of the data, you can find that out very quickly. Yes, and so then you can compound that same query where you find all these hosts that are actually using um, external DNS, and you find out, okay, are they also using internal DNS? Right. And then that's almost, that gets you closer to a silver bullet that, yes, there, not only is there misconfigurations on your network, because there probably are, mm -hmm. but there's also a host that's not only using, you know, my DNS internally, but usually malware will try to use an external DNS source of some sort to actually go out to that malicious mm -hmm. IP or that malicious external host. So that gives the security analyst and the security team a place to start looking and it helps them narrow down and prioritize what they need to do instead of visiting every single box in their whole organization. They can say, okay, we're going to put these misconfigurations aside and deal with them in you know, kind of the normal manner, but we're going to really focus in on these potential security risks. Truly. Awesome. All right, so there you have it. Data analytics and big data demystified. Sure to check out our YouTube channel for additional examples, including this one, of showing data analytics in action. We thank you for joining us, and thank you, James. Thank you.